Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2 Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay. And so, today, I remain hopelessly lost. Um, I've kind of marked a blacksmith on my map because uh, I actually meant to mark the fast travel point. Um, Because I also want to know what that's about. Um. And maybe that'll be easier than getting these last two. Um. Blending, blending. All right. Okay, which way do I need to go? Um, left. No. Gosh darn it. Um, there. Please tell me some of y'all are gonna go right. Oh good, a lot of you are. They better not be looking for trouble. Nope. Don't worry. Okay. Now that I've uh, conveniently moved my marker, um, let's go here. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Just using y'all to sneak around the guard. Uh, I need you a little bit more. Okay. All right, slowly making my way forward. Um, there-ish? Oh good, the guards are now where that one family's men were.
Don't mind me. Just get up. Because I see my house is very well guarded. <laughs> Oops. Good thing I didn't finish going there. Uh, there. Turn. See you wanting to turn. Please actually turn. Not enough money. Perhaps. Perhaps. I want to know why that house is marked darkly. Fine, go up along the window. Okay. Is it marked darkly for elevation? Oh. There's a guard over there. Isn't that illegal? No. Not my problem. Oh, I see. It's a baker. Was this completely useless? Because didn't also... Okay, there's an archer up there. God, where the hell am I supposed to be going? Game. Luigi! 
Well, this may turn out to be a bust. I was hoping... Oh, treasure. That maybe, just maybe... would have turned out okay. Um, and it would have turned out that Leonardo was, like, right by the fast travel point. And... I... That was, I guess, the wrong assumption to make. Hmm... Maybe there? No, because the dark just indicates that it's higher than normal. It's a little bit of an elevation thing. Ugh. Pause here. And resume here. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, there was an abort memory. What if? Ugh. Really, or wait, on. I th wasn't it? There was a place. I could hide in. Ugh. I need a group going this way. There. Just 
don't do anything suspicious. Oh, hi. Well, found treasure. there. And there was nothing back here. God. Is Leonardo supposed to be, like, impossible to find? future me here, or, well, more current me. Um, so, I will probably mention this a couple of times um, back in the original video, but the game crashed, and at the same time, LBS stopped recording. Um, and so, Therefore, I ran into some issues with um, recording the episode. So, anyway, since the it oh, missed a part of the recording, pretty much, um, sorry, I'm like trying to keep track of where I'm going and everything. Um, so, long story short. Like, there's a chunk of video that was just out and out missing uh, from the gameplay. And, well, unlike in regular Assassin's Creed, I can't replay memories. Um, thankfully, this happened early enough in the game that... It was fairly easy for me to just um, utilize my uh, test filming file to uh, catch back up. Uh, we're gonna go this way. I think. Um, Alright, so I'm just taking advantage of the crowds around here. Um, but yeah, so the game crashed when I tried to restart it because my little mission waypoint wasn't activated. But this is a really good scene, and so I wanted to make sure that it did get included in the Let's Play, even if it doesn't necessarily contain my initial blind reaction. Oh, Ezio Auditore! I, <coughs> I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, well, that's nice how of you. can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Ah, che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. 
Um, wait, wait, wait. You mean like that? What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... Uh-huh. There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Who modified it, though? That is the question. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, I will if eventually. you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. Oh dear. So yeah. That's... What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Uh, preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Uh. 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 There we go. You okay? Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Uh. Others? The city gives them to me for research. <sighs> Pick up the body. Please, no one pay attention to the fact that I am carrying a dead body. Pretty please? Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Alright, so that was the bit that got missed. Um... There was a little bit more that happened, but I have already included that in the follow-up uh, part of the episode. So I will go ahead and end this part here and return you back to when I was filming this episode originally. Thank you all so much. So the game crashed and me being me, thought the game was still recording. And it wasn't. Um, so you'll note, I'm actually on a different memory. And unlike last time, it's not easy for me to go back and um, replay memories. Um, Pretty much what I wound up having to do 
is thankfully the crash did happen. Um, I had to restart the quest. And as a result, that put the little marker on the map that told me where Leonardo's workshop was. And it was where I was in thinking, okay, yeah, he should be near this fast travel point. Um, but the door wasn't active. And I'm really annoyed because there's a nice sequence of cutscenes that are in there that are important for the plot, I think. Um, pretty much, um, Leonardo uh, was able to, um, like, looked at the blade, was like, hey, I can't do this. Uh, because I don't understand it, but then happens to notice the scroll that's with everything, and is like, oh, these look like the plans. Let me see if I can decode them. And while he does all that and repairs the blade, Ezio passes out. Um, and is woken up by Leonardo sometime later with a new hidden blade. The guard then shows up and um, beats up Leonardo for information about Ezio. And Ezio kills the guard um, in a nice private little garden area. And Leonardo's like, eh, just bring the body inside. We'll put him with the others. It's like, wait, what? Others? It's like, yeah, no, the city gives me dead bodies for, um, for funsies, pretty much. Um, so no one was distressed when we carried the dead guard body inside of the house. Um, anyways, continuing on, um, we then left, we went back to Paola, and we now have a blade and skills, so it is now time to go and kill Uberto, apparently. Um, which, you know what? There was a nice uh, thing. Alberto, this. Trusted friend of the Auditore family. According to the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self-taught. Now, I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike. Anyway, so that was the Codex bit there. And so now the goal is to go after him. Um, so I've left the brothel and I'm actually going to pick up some viewpoints um, rather than go straight to um, the mission. Get there! No, you don't! Well, he's dead. Good to know that the hidden blade seems to work a bit better. Um, as an actual fighting weapon. Okay, um... Alright, so, anyways, I'm at least going to bring y'all with me to 
get this point to round out the episode. Maybe one other point. And then we'll attempt an assassination next time. I went the wrong way. No! No! God damn it. Keep going? What's the point of this dancer del diablo? You leapt too far. You weren't supposed to go that far. Gosh darn it. Okay, uh, sink. Oh, hey, for once we're actually properly on this platform. All right. And I'm hoping I can get the other one without triggering... the mission. Nope, up. I think I'm going to have to get to that. Center to Croja, Croce, something or other. You get to turn around, go the other way. I'd really appreciate it if you did. I will kill all trespassers, but don't dare, dare. Oh. Yep, yep. Don't worry. I will be sure to let people know that you killed the trespasser. No! God damn it. You missed that jump. Have I seen that man before? Nope. Nope. Totally didn't just fall down in front of you. Totally didn't. Okay, keep going. Up, up, and away. And we'll sink up here. Well, this has been a rough episode for several reasons, um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Well, at the bottom of this. 
So, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails. <laughs>